Welcome back, my friends. I'm here at Jim Tough, and I'm with my buddy Duncan today. And as you can see, we are talking Anka, one of my favorite machines, superior in grinding around the world. And guess what? 50 years of experience. We're very excited to talk about that because when you have the experience, you have the success. Duncan has been doing this for quite a while as well. Maybe not quite 50 years, but this young man speaks both English and Japanese. Can you believe it? I can barely speak English. But Duncan, we have three major topic topics to talk about today. We got the Ultra Experience. We got two room RN35, definitely not the first one. We started a long time ago, just constant improvements. And we got Ames Connect. We're gonna start over here, just over my shoulder with the Ultra Experience. Duncan, thank you for being here. Thank you for explaining this. What is the Ultra Experience? Cause right now I'm having an Ultra Experience with you, but I don't think that's what that wall is all about, is it? No, no, the Ultra Experience is a, um, it's a culmination of our attempt to really address tool quality that comes off our machines. So we set up a focused group and we've put together a package of enhancements that goes on our machines and really takes the quality of the tools to a completely new level in terms of the surface finish that we can get off the tools, even the, uh, the accuracy that we can get off the tools and the production consistency that we get off the tools. And that's really what our customers are chasing. And that's what they get from the, uh, the ultra packaged machines. I can imagine if I'm making tools, the three adjectives you just used, the one that stands out to me, I think the most out of all of that is consistency. I can only imagine what it might be like if I'm making hundreds, even dozens, but possibly thousands of tools. And if I don't have consistency, I have to measure every single one. Now I know Anka's known for their quality, so consistency always existed. Yeah. But your constant improvement on that technology just yeah. makes their lives easier, doesn't it? Absolutely, you gotta, you gotta really take it to the next level, see what you can do to make your customers, um, you know, working life easier and more productive. And so out of the, the the solutions that we've built into these ultra machines, um, things like uh, temperature control of the motor. Um, this really makes sure that the machine is thermally stable when it's in production. So that's the sort of technology that we're building in. Um, other parts of the package have always been part of our offering, but we make them standard on the machine. So things like uh, laser measurement of the cutting tools. So we can do in process validation of geometry of the tool and then that's sort of fed back into the process to ensure that consistency. Um, other features we developed as part of the program were things like uh, tool runout. So we can actually measure the runout of the tool before we start grinding, and then the grinding process is actually adapted to account for any tool runout so that we can see you know, um, consistency of runout of a tool below two microns as a result of those improvements. All right, Duncan, my brain, I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but it is running wild. And the questions I wanna ask you, I can't in this interview because it'll be seven days long. And we'll talk about how do we used to do all of this, the precision and quality. And, and when you talk about the thermal expansion, when you talk about being able to measure and balance and all, how did they do this 100 years ago, 50 years yeah. ago, 30 years ago? And that's what I wanna dive into at some point. I'm gonna bring Duncan onto my podcast, but for now, let's move on to Tool Room RN35. And I say that because I know that's about productivity and we've already used yep. that term a couple of times. So they're working together already to help people make more money, be more productive. Yeah. Isn't that what we're all trying to get at anyway? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you know, there's there's a constant theme that comes through from customers is about how to get more return on their investment and, and what we can do to support those sort of uh, initiatives and expectations. So. With each software release that Anchor does, you know, every sort of one to two years, we try to bring out a new software release. And so each of those releases will particularly target a theme of uh, development within a given release. And so RN35 this year, which we launched, we took it to uh, uh, Grindhub in Europe and then more recently at IMTS. And it's really focused on improving the productivity just through the software developments that we've done. So a couple of examples is the feed rate optimizer. So now within the software, the feed rate optimizer is um, optimizing the, the infeeds of the, the, the grinding process. Um, it's also uh, optimizing the, the, the metal removal rate so that you again get that consistent performance from your tool grinding process. And as a result of that optimization efforts, um, 
for some tools we'll see up to 20% improvement or reduction in cycle time. So that's, you know, if you can kind of translate that to what's coming off your machine, it's a fantastic improvement that our customers can see just by doing a software upgrade on their machines. So even a machine that they've had for several years can benefit from this because they can upgrade their machine to have that latest software. I'm impressed. Mm. I'm thoroughly impressed. And again, my brain is running wild. I was a machinist for 12 years, considered top 5% in the world of understanding how to machine precious metals and this and that. But I had to go through a process of failure and success and more failure and repeated failure in order to get to a point of success. I want to ask you a question. Let's pretend for a second that I'm a rubbish programmer, that I'm a rubbish machinist, right? Is this software powerful enough that it's going to adapt to my either over or under compensation of feed rate and adaptation to make this optimized, like truly optimized, yeah. that I wouldn't have to go through all those failures I used to have to go through as a machinist that's going to adapt right away? I mean, what you can see here is obviously an offline um, version of what's driving the machine. So everything that you do, uh, normally you would do offline to really set up those processes sure. and validate them. And it, you know, that ties in perfectly with the simulator software now. Uh, Anchor was first to the market with 3D simulation software many, some years ago, back when I was fairly new with Anchor. Um, but that's really become a fundamental part of how we can help customers to um, start out such that the first tool that they grind is the right tool. And, and that's one of those ideas of how to get better productivity out of your machine is validate your process before you start and then when you actually bring it onto the machine, you're confident it's gonna be right first tool. Yeah, color me impressed. I never had a first one. That was my test. Yeah. Every single time <laughs> I had one scrap piece because that was my test and the rest were supposed to be good. Love having to get the first one uh, correct right away. The other aspect that you brought up that I think fascinates me, well, two things, is that obviously number RN35 is not the first software. So everything you've done better throughout the years stays within that yep. software. This is just the focus of productivity within this one. But you said to me, you said, if you have an older machine, you can adapt this into that machine to make it improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that I think is incredible because a lot of people have to buy a new machine in order to adapt to something like that. And you're saying we can take it with your existing models. We can get you those improvements Impressive. straight up. And, and obviously, you know, as, as much as the focus on productivity improvements is built into this release, there's a whole suite of improvements to the types of geometries we can program, the flexibility of the software that it uh, allows what customers can do and make. That's, that's a never ending uh, path of development, so yeah. Yeah, you called it sweet. I imagine you mean S-U-I-T-E, but I called it S-W-E-E-T. Right, right, yeah. It's sweet in both ways. Let's <laughs> talk about Ames Connect now. If I'm just on the outside looking in, I hear Connect and I'm thinking, well, we're obviously talking about automation of some form or another. Can we dive into Ames Connect? Yeah, so uh, I, I think it might be about two years ago. Uh, again, uh, as one of the industry firsts, Anchor brought to the market the idea of connecting discrete processes for tool production. So be it uh, the blank preparation, be it the actual tool grinding itself, um, it might be the labeling of the tools or other processes. And we kind of realized that uh, with that never ending sort of quest to uh, reduce your labor costs, we're looking to try and address that for customers. So that first launch two years ago, we bought out the AIM system, which is an automation concept or automation solution where it will transport tools um, from one machine, one process to the next automatically. So you're taking away those manual transitions. Physically? There. Yep. Okay. Using an AGV. Right. Okay. Now, that sort of certainly created interest and um, a spark in the market, but there's a lot of customers where they're not ready yet to take that sort of uh, leap into that level of automation. Financially or because of other fear base? It can be because their factory layout isn't appropriate for it. And, you know, sometimes it's just can be uh, a bit of a, a leap too much for them to take in one step. Sure. So that, that was then the genesis of why we've come up with the Ames Connect concept. And this is a, a product that we're releasing where customers can actually benefit from some of those um, capabilities we've built into AIMS uh, still 
building in um, the, the processes that we have in AIMS automated, but just taking that one step back and um, keeping it as a manual transition, but we are delivering in this solution um, standard workflows for the customer. So we realise that um, part of the way that customers can get improved productivity is standardisation of processes. Um, as a machine tool builder, we have the same thing. We get quality out of our product by standardising the processes that we have. And really that's what Ames Connect is trying to uh, deliver to customers. So the idea is the customer will define the, the steps and the processes and what we call the recipe for how this tool is going to be made. And then that is basically um, given to the customer or to the operator so that there are very clear instructions for the operator about what steps and what machines they need to use, what programs they'll be running, how to set up each machine. And so it takes away the error uh, in, you know, or, or just the variation that you can get with different operators doing things a little bit differently. Even to the extent that it will prompt the operator to measure a tool in a batch and say, this is tool number 10. You need to take it to your measurement machine and measure it. And then we'll provide the automatic channel to provide that feedback back to the process. So it's just, taking away those sort of um, manual activities and making them standardised so that there's standardisation in your process, consistency in your process and thereby productivity improvement. Duncan, I've heard this, this story told by you, this truth mm. told by you, these, these processes described by you. I think we could have had a 30 second interview going, you know why we're here today? To make it better, to make more money, to do it faster and have less mistakes. Yeah. It really sounds like when I look at the Ultra Experience, Tool Room RN35 and Ames Connect, you said, we're gonna automatically help you do your programs better with less mistakes to start all the way through the finish and automate that process so you understand what's happening throughout the entire process. And then just get better quality in the end and as well. Better quality. We could have right. summed it up with that, couldn't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm right. glad we went into detail. But They're glad we went into detail, but at the same time. I think you sort of also realize that there's, to get to that end goal, it's not just one, uh, one magic bullet that does that. Wouldn't that be nice? It wouldn't that be nice, <laughs> but it's not. And it's, it's a consistent effort across different areas, understanding what our customers need, and then, then we can really address those needs. And the fact that you've paid attention to your customers' needs and adopt and adapt to what they want, that you're listening so well, yeah. I would say that's part of your 50 years of success at Anka, is you're not just <laughs> saying, we know what works, you guys do it because we say so. You go, tell us what you need, we'll adapt to that situation and improve your processes to constantly make sure that you're the leaders in whatever part of grinding tool making you might be in. Look, you know, we get, uh, sometimes we see developments that Anchor does and we, we, we think outside the box and do something that our customers have never thought of. I would say Sim3D completely took the market um, by surprise when it was released you know, nearly 20 years ago. Uh, more recently, the laser uh, is something that we sort of brought to market. No one had thought of it, no one had asked us for it, um, but we brought it out to the market and now it probably goes on the majority of our machines. But yes, the alternative is that collaboration with customers, getting their input, listening to what they say is absolutely critical to that kind of continuous improvement that you want to see in your products and your customers' outcomes. It's a recipe for success, yeah. right? It's coming up with your <laughs> own ideas that no one's ever seen before, but yeah. listening to the requests of others as well. Yep. Truly the recipe of success. Very much like this conversation, I can't do it without Duncan. I couldn't even imagine trying to describe <laughs> all of this. It's a perfect recipe of understanding how Anka can bring you success in your shop, in your factory, and do it on the first time right while making money and reducing the scrap rate and increasing that productivity. Duncan, thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. Very Thank much you for my pleasure. educating me, educating the audience. 50 years, guys. There's a reason why there's been success for 50 years. Give these guys a call. Give these guys a shot. Give Duncan a call. This dude is amazing.